Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial, otherwise known as bucket and spigot plugin uh, tutorials. So if you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every Friday, except for last Friday, I, I had a week off. So anyway, if you have a suggestion of plugin you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below or the comment section for you new people. I will get to those eventually. Keep in mind, I have a very extensive list and I can only do these on Fridays. But I do respond to comments, so if you have a question, feel free to comment that as well. And uh, this is called Kit Adder and is thanks to King James for recommending it and Bonzaja193. I don't know, Bonsai, Bonsai is usually spelled with an I, not a J, but anyway, it is made by Ravana, and it is a, kind of an addition to Essentials. It relies heavily on Essentials, so if you don't have Essentials, get it. Now, uh, a couple notes, since we're in the transition between 1.7 to 1.8, if you're running 1.8, you need to get the Essentials 1.8 uh, snapshot. I'll put a link to that in the jibbles or the description, and uh, you guys can find that. So anyway, what this plugin does is it allows you to add kits in-game. Like, you just, all you do in here, all right, so... We're going to go creative, and then we're going to pick out some tools. So we're going to get the diamond hole, very essential tool. And then we're going to get some diamond blocks, and then we're going to put some redstone in here, and then maybe a diamond chest plate. All right, so then what you do is you go create kit um, testing, or test, we'll just say test, and then the cooldown. Now the cooldown's in seconds, so if you want it to be longer, be sure to put it longer. So we're gonna do 30 seconds just because this is the testing. So kit, kit has been added. So interesting thing, like I said before, it relies on essentials, so it plays into the essentials kits. So if you do kits, now you're gonna see the the test kit that we just created there. So for that to work, they need essentials.kit in order to see the kits. And then, in addition to that, in order to, for them to be able to use that kit, they you do need to update your permissions to be have essentials.kits.kit name. So if you rename this or change it or you've created a new one, you need to update your permissions node ap appropriately. So let's say, all right, so we have the kit in there and we can actually, I can show you that. There we go. There's our kit. So if we want to add to it, let's say we want to add a stack of stones. We go there and then we go add to kit testing and then it, it, it'll add whatever you're holding to the kit. There we go. Um, right, not testing, test is what we named it. So now it's added to the kit. So when we go kit test, we get that stack of stone. Let's say you wanna add dirt or grass. Let's say if you don't wanna put it in your, your inventory first you can do it this way you can go um id add and then test and then the id so that's two and then we want to add 16 there we go it has been updated you can go kit test and now we can see our grass in there too which is really sweet you can rename the kit if you want so uh, rename kit test to testing and now we see that it's been renamed. Once again, you have to update your permission nodes if you've renamed a kit, otherwise it won't work anymore. And then you can delete kit by delete kit testing. And um, there you go, now it's, now it's gone, gone. Like I said, it all ties into essentials. It's really sweet. But anyway, if you want to give some of these, by default, all of these commands are given to ops. If you want to give it to your mods or uh, head admins without having them have op capabilities, here are some of the permissions and those you, you need to do. It's ka.create.delete.add2.idadd.rename. Now, if you want to create like an OP kits you need to enable unsafe enchants in essentials and then you can create those in game might need to use another plugin to create the item itself and then you could put it in the kit i believe but basically there's nothing to do in the config file it's all kind of in game which is really cool i'm glad that they did this it makes it managing kits a lot easier for you so hopefully you guys find that helpful feel free to like comment and subscribe below and um, comment any plugins that you'd like me to do next. 
Anyway, this is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Hey, gay. <laughs> I don't want to go through the dark hall. I don't want to go through the dark doorway. I don't want to go through the dark doorway. <laughs> it's just a door, and I'm...